Welcome to episode 5 of Sport Oregon Voices. We are here at the Sport Oregon office today to talk all about Sport Oregon's flagship foundation initiative, She Flies, and the upcoming Sport Oregon Holiday Bash benefiting She Flies. She Flies uplifts girls and women through sport. I can't wait to dive in deeper with this group to share how we do that and why it is so important in today's world. I'm Micah Jane Benneman, COO at Sport Oregon. We are joined today by a pair of incredible women um, to really speak about the importance of She Flies. So thank you for joining us. And with that said, I'll let the two of you introduce yourself. Good morning, Dr. Robin. Good morning, Micah. I am Dr. Robin Beavers. I am the new Vice President of Community and Social Impact for the Portland Tempers and the Thorns. And I'm Rachel Rapino. I'm the CEO and founder of Mindy. And Mindy is a hemp and plant-based wellness brand that empowers active lifestyles with tools to thrive naturally. Uh, I am also a proud Portland pilot, pilot co-owner. Ooh, go yeah. pilots! Before we really dive in and talk about all the nitty details about She Flies, we should like take a second and explain in general what She Flies is and what the origin is, how it started. And it basically started with a lot of things during the pandemic, surprise, mm -hmm. when we were restructuring all the initiatives we do at the foundation. And I couldn't stop reading and finding the astonishing facts online and everywhere that girls are two times more likely to drop out of sports at the age of 14. Um, also, less than 30% of all youth coaches are women, <clears throat> and among adults, men are twice as likely as women to report that they play sports, which means like a lot of dads are still in the baseball team, are still like in sports team or whatever, men's, and women most likely say they are not playing sports anymore or they are not active anymore. And there's a lot of talk to uh, there's a lot to talk about the why, but all that said, we all know the benefits of sports. We will talk about it more in the next 45 minutes, but it forced us to build an initiative that is based on three pillars, and the three pillars are keep girls in the game, empower female coaches, and fit for life. And how do we do that? What does She Flies do um, on a daily basis? And it's basically three things as well. We provide a lot of content, education and awareness. We do a lot of events, clinics, trainings to connect people and to connect other nonprofits and to connect people that work on that same issue and trying to solve that issue. Um, and we give out grants, like money rules to fall, right? Mm -hmm. um, so that's basically what She Flies is. It's ever evolving um, in the current world and um, we always try to like make it better, make it bigger, make it fit more to the needs that the current world needs. But um, Robin, maybe I should start with you because you really have, have been engaged I think since I started um, to talk to people about that and the idea and what she flies is and and why was that like even in your time back when you worked at Trillium Family Services. Yes. I was so excited first of all being born and raised here in Portland um, and growing up in the sports industry my friends you know mm -hmm. everyone heavily involved in sports uh, just an honor to be um, asked to be a part of the Sport Oregon Board. And I always thought, how am I going to get involved? <laughs> well, then there was She Flies. And once you kick that off and just all the opportunities to help promote, you know, all the good things that She Flies uh, wants to do and is doing in the community, um, that is what excited me. I was just, it's great to have something that's uplifting um, women and girls in sports. And it's even more of a, a privilege to be able to be a part of that. Thank you. And yeah, um, it's so funny with Rachel. I always call her like, Rachel, what's next? Because that's always <laughs> literally, that's always your question. Whatever we do together or whenever we meet, like we say goodbye and she's like, what's next? So 
Yeah, um, and I think besides the fact that we are just a really good team and that we all like each other and what we do, it's really the cause that 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 motivates you and that 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 resonates so much with you. And can you talk a little bit about that? Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's definitely your guys' passion and purpose is so in alignment with my passion and purpose with you know protecting women and uplifting women, especially in the Mormon community. So. I love working with you guys, anything I can do. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, sports, I had such a deeply human connection and relationship with sports and all that it's done for me in my life. I literally would not be sitting here today if it wasn't for soccer and it being a vehicle to get an education and a pathway out of writing. I was just yes. talking to you, I'm from Reading, California, which, you know, it's really beautiful in a lot of ways, but there's there wasn't a lot of opportunity mm -hmm. for my sister and I there. Um, and I am a living, breathing story of if it was not for soccer, my parents told us, if you don't get a scholarship, you're going to the JC in Reading. And like, that was our <laughs> only other option. So, it's just, I mean, imagine our life mm -hmm. had that been our pathway. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I love working with you guys and definitely your initiative for She Flies is a deeply... Um, it's, I have a deep relationship with that because of just my own pathway of soccer and getting out of Reading. And so um, anything I can do is obviously uplift what you guys are doing and promote it, um, either through my, you know, personally or through my business. I'm a big fan of that. Awesome. And, and I think, Robin, I mean, now you work in sports too, but before that, a trillion family services, I think 20 years or like, how long? It's unbelievable. But anyway, how can you tell or how have you experienced how much sports impacted girls in all the programs Absolutely. you did compared to other programs or in general? And what did it do? Absolutely. Um, so I only worked in Trillium for a couple of years, but just being in, in uh, but 20 years yeah. in the whole philanthropic community service, <clears throat> uh, working with youth and families for years. And uh, I worked for a youth service agency for 15 years called Self Enhancement Incorporated. And it was founded from the principle of sports. And originally it was founded for boys. Um, founded during the 80s, the founders were uh, basketball stars of the Portland community. Um, and they uh, wanted to use basketball as a means to get uh, males, black males in particular, off the streets. The games were in the 80s, um, you know, kind of taking over. And so out of that grew this wonderful organization. And one of the things that over the years that they, they implemented is they started off with girls. There's always boys basketball camps. And they had girls basketball camps. And every summer that I worked there, you know, being a part of those girls basketball camps was a big deal. And um, I always got, they wouldn't let me on court. Although I should tell everybody, I did get my letter in high school in basketball. <laughs> I mean, yes, there's a big cheerleader on the back because there's a cheerleader too of my uh, Lemmings jacket, but I love the basketball. They wouldn't let me on the court, but they did let me on the, on the uh, in the classroom to talk to those young girls about um, careers, how sports can help them, as uh, Rachel talked about, as a pathway on the college and then into sport into a career. And so I think having um, platforms that allow girls. Um, to uh, see how sports can be used as a vehicle um, to for their lives, uh, not only for you know education and careers, but also to teach them how to be leaders, um, to teach them the value of you know competition, friendly competition. Um, I think it helps helps them grow a lot. So um, the <clears throat> initiatives that that we do here at Chief Wise, I think, are so important um, in providing organizations you know, um, a platform so that they can help the girls in the community, I think is a great thing. Mm 